Welcome back to the Roguelike Roulette, everybody. It's been a minute. I apologize for the delay. Restarting with a streak in tow here. Let's see if we can keep this sucker going. And please do get some bear rolls in chat. Get the wheel a-spinning. Let's find out how we start today. And before it's just an FTL day again. Oh, God. Okay, that's better. That's better. We can manage that. I'm going to treat Bellatro with a lot more respect today. Because the last couple of times we've got, gotten this in the roguelike roulette, I have assumed that I was going to be okay, given that we have played on higher stakes before. But I need to remind myself that it is actually quite possible to lose any given run of Bellatro. We could also absolutely play for a respin again. I think I had elected to give us a respin for green stakes on Bellatro, so that might be uh, that might be worth considering here. Let's do it. I think it's a little more exciting anyway. Green stakes, yellow deck. All's we got to do is get to Annie Eight and get the W. Let's make it happen. That's a fun start. Well, that's the kind of thing you almost need to go for the straight flush on, even though it's obviously better to keep the 10, so let's not go crazy with it. Oh, God, it's so good, though. Hold on, I gotta try. Damn it. One more. One more set of discards. Come on. Son of a bitch. We're still gonna get it. Here comes the 10. Ah, fine, whatever. I'll take my lickings. One day you need to try a seated run with the word bear taffy. I suppose I could do that, yeah. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and take the paintbrush right away. I just feel like it's one of the better vouchers. Snag a joker pack. Earn $5 if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. I feel like I could probably get something going from that. Let's try it out. All right, so while we can't discard face cards, I guess we're just going for a better play. Here we go. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I can play the full house now as well as the thing. So maybe I could do that first and then not have to worry so much about the score. Let's see if I can get to those three face cards here. God damn it. Oh, that sucks. I guess I can still get there, actually. Hold on. If I just make a play that's a little worse, I can do, like, a an effective discard from playing a hand here. I feel like I might be investing a little bit too much in trying to make this happen, though. But hopefully this works out. There's five bucks for me. God, if I just die immediately here, it's going to feel pretty shitty. <laughs> Let's just do this and pray that we get a flush, I guess. Okay, we did get it. Nice. That should be enough, right? Yeah, there we go. That's no problem. All right, well. Got the five bucks. Ooh, fortune teller could work. Let's just do fortune teller, and then we'll just buy those arcana packs, actually. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Molt cards, hearts, diamonds. We can go for a suit here, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's try that. Let's change all these to hearts. Although, I do feel like I should... Actually, you know what? No, let's do this instead. Let's go for the molt on the sixes. And we'll see what this does. Death card, okay. Steel card, yeah, that'd help out. I'll take that. All right, so we got a two multiplier already, which is significant. I think we should just keep the flush available here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't count for the faceless if they've already been used. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's just try this then. There we go. And then we just need to get to another flush. So we're going to keep these guys. Go ahead and play this hand, even though it's not going to be very high value. Still don't have the flush here, though. Um, let's just play this again. 
Only two hands left. I gotta be a little careful here. But I should, once I get a decent play, as little as plus two feels like it is gonna make a difference here. Oh god. Oh god. What a mess. Thank Christ. Wow, I am really cutting it close already here. By the skin of our teeth from the jump. Let's get a random Joker card. That's probably going to help us out. Ooh, ice cream's big. Okay, yeah, that should be a big boost. And yeah, let's see here. Ooh, purple seal is huge. Create a tarot and discard it. We'll throw that onto a face card. And let's go ahead and buy the sun as well. Oh, free Mega Arcana Pack. Yeah, I'll take that. Gonna help out a lot already as well. Uh, increase rank, lucky cards. Do I want a lucky card? I suppose I could go for that. Lucky Ace. And let's do... I Actually, let's do a sun card here. And then we'll use the planets. That seems pretty good. Thank you. Not the greatest planet cards there, but I'll take it. Rare Joker as well, a free rare Joker. It's tempting. But I'd probably better not do that. I need some Joker help before I get into this next ante. Alright, so I still want to try to look for the face cards to discard here. We have a full flush already, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Ooh, I have a straight flush, actually. Holy shit. That's pretty awesome. So keep the six. Uh... Yes, we're not very likely to find the discards here. Let's just... Uh, I mean, this is our last discard anyway, so there's not really a point in doing that. Sweet. Feels a little better to absolutely crush the blind for once. Mmm, vampire, huh? With only eight bucks... I'm pretty sure that's not the play. I think we gotta keep going Arcana here. Keep building this fortune teller. Ooh, perfect. Any Emperor card is gonna be huge. Nope. Can you give me a nope in chat? Quick little nope. Alright, we got our discard right away, which is pretty nice. Let's go for the flush again here with the Molt Diamonds. There's our discard tarot card. That's pretty good. We do have a straight in hand, so I suppose we could actually... Here, let's discard these guys. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Here's what we'll do. We'll use this on the strength card here. We'll discard these three, and then we'll get another tarot off that. It does ruin the straight, I guess, so we'll just go ahead and trade everything else out. Another high priestess. This might help us out. Well, straight flushes are certainly getting good. Uh, now we're just looking for diamonds, I guess. There we go. Well, we are going to need some high-scoring plays here, though. That got us pretty close. I know our two pair is actually leveled up a little here as well. Not a ton, but better than nothing. That'll do it. Okay, we know the ice cream's going to lose value pretty soon here, but getting through the wall actually does feel pretty good. Ooh, Rocket's a good investment. I'm going to go ahead and grab that for sure. And then maybe Mad Joker as well. Just to be safe. Just to give us a little bonus something-something if we need it. Rock the two pair here. Eh, no need for the Polychrome Joker. All right, we still have Faceless, so we're still trying to look for that. 79.10, let's see. Uh, let's just go for the Flush then. Oh, shit. Straight flush potential again. Okay, let's just go ahead and go for that. Fuck it. This is five bucks. Um, this could actually... Here, tell you what. Let's just go ahead and play this flush now. And then we might get one more opportunity to discard the face cards. We're getting some serious value out of that so far, so no, no reason not to continue to try to do so. Although I think this is going to meet the scoring threshold anyway. All right, good enough. Ooh, the idol. Fun, but I don't think we're going to play that here. I will take a Jupiter. It's going for a lot of flushes, having converted a lot of cards already. Obviously, double Arcana Pack is something we're happy with. 
I think we can go ahead and do some Malt on these guys. I think any number card I'm going to go ahead and try to apply some bonuses to. And let's see. I think I'm okay with going for a random Joker here. Let's see what comes of it. Egg. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I do it? It's such a big gamble. Let's try it, I guess. Random Joker again. Maybe? Temperance is kind of kind of good here. I think I'll snag that. Strength doesn't really do a ton. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Blue Joker. That's not bad. Okay, so that's basically a replacement for ice cream. I like that. We have a straight out of the gate here. I don't think it's a wise choice for me to try to go for the face card discard again. But this is also not going to score very highly, but this is going to get... Uh, the blue joker is going to get worse the more cards we draw, so we might as well play a fairly high-scoring hand out of the gate, I guess. I suppose it's just possible that this is a pair of face cards here. All right, I guess not. I think we're going to go for... This is an ace. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. So let's just go for a two pair with whatever we got uh, left over after the discard, so the face cards. There we go, nice. Pretty sure this is a full house. Yeah, there we go. We're getting some serious value out of the faceless joker here. All right, rocket upgraded as well. Economy's actually getting cooking now. Throwback for the times 1.5 molt. Not terrible. I might skip some more blinds here as well. Let's go ahead and swap this off now. we got a decent economy cooking here. All right, we're going to have to sell ice cream pretty soon as well. Should be able to get through this, though. Investment tag? Yeah, you know what? Let's take that. And then obviously the garbage tag isn't going to do much. All right, Faceless Joker is no longer a factor. Let's see if I can find the flush here. Although I think I'd rather find the diamond flush, I guess, but... There are a lot more hearts on the deck. Yeah, let's do this, I guess. Here's our discard, good. Ooh, potential straight flush draw again here. I think I'll turn this guy into a stone. So close on the straight flush. I want to go for it. Let's do it. Oh, that's rude. That's very, very rude. Oh, I should have played the stone card with that, too. That was kind of stupid. There it is. Nice. Overkill, baby. Why no vouchers? I haven't really seen anyone that I want yet. We did get the uh, bonus hand size voucher right out of the gate. Yeah, it's not super tempting, honestly. And more Jokers we've already seen, unfortunately. Let's take this Mega Arcana pack, though. Temperance is pretty nice here. I'll take the Emperor for sure. Wheel? Nope. Random Joker? I think I could probably roll the dice on that again. That's going to be an even Steven. That's certainly not bad. Oh, this is hearts. Nice. Yeah, let's keep getting hearts. Keep going with the sun cards. Hey, Splinky, this is actually a streak carrying over from our previous session of Roguelike Roulette, which is like a week plus ago, so honestly, I'm not really sure what we were doing last time. No repeat hand types this round. That's not ideal. Definitely shoot for the straight flush again here. See if we can find it. I guess the nine's not going to do too much for me there, is it? Well, if I play one flush, I can't play another, so I better make damn sure it's going to be a good one if I do it. Oh, I better get even Steven's triggers on this as well, I just realized. So let's do eight, and then ten, and then two. Yeah, it's probably best. Let's see how this goes. Pretty damn close, okay. We have a straight in hand already as well, so that works. Two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, the star. That's not good. 
You know what we could do, though, is just do this. And then it uses the tarot without actually modifying anything badly for me. Oh, there we go. There's a better straight, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Get the molt card in there. Cool. All right. We're cooking. Big money off the boss blind there as well. Good stuff. Ice cream comes back. Mail in rebate. Let's try the mega buffoon pack. I bet we can find something decent in here. Acrobat for the molt on the final hand of the round. Not a bad idea. Um, I don't think I want either of these, but I'll just get the value out of selling, I guess. Okay, and then try the spectral here. Cryptid would be huge. Red seal is pretty nice. I think I'll go ahead and add the red seal to this ace. Retrigger the lucky seems pretty good. Ooh, gross Michael. I'll take that over, uh... I think that over Luchador, I guess, yeah. It was nice to have a plus 15 flat molt, and then we'll do the same thing with the stars card there. Just use that on existing diamonds so we can get the bonus tarot. Okie doke. Looking for diamonds again. It's a red seal ace. Hang on to that for a minute. shot and he's still nice. So far so good here. Be able to swap out the rocket. Probably find something better than the throwback at some point as well. Now to consider skipping another blind actually. More hearts this time. Let's go for it. Get that synergy up. Every played card permanently gains five chips when scored. Pretty good, pretty good. It's a little late for a hiker, I think, so hold off on that. Ramen? Eh, I don't think so. Eh, no good. All right. Upgrade straight flush by three levels. Eh, that's super tempting. More hearts, please. Very much. Yeah, Hiker's really, really good in the beginning, but I think it definitely loses value. Like, the Annie 5 and Beyond is not really worth it anymore. But I could definitely use some more Jupiter cards to help us out with these flushes here. I suppose it does actually kind of make sense to have gone for the straight flush upgrade, too. Ooh, okay. I think we just go ahead and go back to hearts here. How many hearts do we have left in the deck? Seven? Yeah, we can probably find that. Hermit card, nice. All right, that ought to do it pretty easily. Hey, money off the lucky card there too, nice. Bonus 20 bucks. All right, very clearly gonna need some more help with the jokers now. The scoring is starting to fall off a little bit. We did get the flush card there, that's nice. Try the buffoon pack. Arrowhead, definitely not gonna work, unfortunately. That's probably just a skip. Try our Jumbo Arcana again. Temperance is available here. Steel card, destroy two cards. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of the diamonds, actually. Have a low diamonds is probably better. Even more hearts available. We can purchase playing cards, which does actually help quite a bit with the blue joker. Ceremonial dagger, huh? That's probably not gonna work. It's a little too late for that as well, I think. Swashbuckler's not fantastic. Paradalia doesn't really matter. That would be pretty sick if we had Faceless Joker. Could have just gotten a shitload of money out of that in the beginning, but no more. Really feel like we need something else to help the scoring here. Astronomer's not going to do it. The Order's not really going to do it. I'll take a Lover's card. Ah, oh, jeez. That's unfortunate. All right, off to the arm then, I guess. This is going to be rough. Let's see here. I think we're just discarding this set. Going for the 
parts again. Another tarot off the discard here. Strength doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. We'll use it, though. Oh, I should have done that on the lower value cards, duh. Whoopsie. Well, here, let's just go ahead and play this guy. Yeah, Flush is probably going back down to rank one, unfortunately. Ooh, boy, we may be in trouble. I think we are very much in trouble, actually. This is bad. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Two pair, real quick. Get the 50 from the stone. Oh, boy, I am in danger. Got another flush there, thankfully. All the way back down to one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I was going to say, if we can get anything decent here, we should be okay. And I think a flush will do it. Boy, I need some help with the scoring, though. This is looking bad. I think Rocket has uh, served its purpose up to this point. Magician card, popcorn. Better than nothing. I'll take that for now. Just some flat molten chips here. Multiplier needs to get a little better. Let's see if I can find some more Jupiter cards in here. There we go, back up to two. It permanently reduces the value of the hand, so yeah, it's pretty brutal. I guess we'll go to Neptune again. Six of hearts, that'll do. All right, that'll have to work, I guess. Reroll the boss blind. I do want to do that, actually. Yeah, the needle might actually kill me here. I'll take the times two molt off that. Playing a flush sets money to zero. Yikes, dude. I guess we better spend all the money before we get there, then. Crank our Magician right away. Flush out there. Hey, can you? Yeah, it's permanently. It's, it's pretty brutal. That's why that's one of the least liked boss, boss blinds. It's a real nasty effect. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, I forgot the Magician got buffed, so you can... Put Lucky on two cards now. I think you're right about that. This fortune teller is getting pretty good now. All right, getting there, getting there. If we can find just like a decent multiplier bonus, we should be in pretty good shape at that point. This is getting a little better, but it's a little slow and is obviously coming with a risk. There goes Gross Michael as well. Yeah, it is really nice that it doesn't go down to zero anymore. It used to be even worse. Steel card. I guess we can do that. If we need that. Uh... Ooh, Supernova actually does seem pretty good here. This would be a plus 16 molt on any flush. It's not bad. Hopefully it's good enough to go. Oh, I forgot to spend the money though, damn it. Crap! Oh, now I feel dumb. Oh well. I even told myself explicitly to do that before I started this run. I started this uh, anti, rather. Well, if we can find a straight flush, that would solve the problem. So close. Holy shit. Come on. Come on. Come on, one time. Here, I'll even discard this. One time. Let's go! Oh my god! Flush as hell. Straight flush, baby! It's not enough! Fuck! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Um. Oh, Supernova's not doing much here. We did lose a lot of value on Blue Joker as well, unfortunately. Well, let's keep trying other things, I guess. If I can find a four for a gut shot straight here, we might still be in, um, okay. I can play this with the stone card, and then we can try that same thing. We're really actually still scoring pretty well with that kind of thing. Six, five, four, three, two. There it is. 
And I pray that's enough. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. Kept the money. Ooh, a hieroglyph. Yes, please. Not to mention, greedy joker? Not going to be all that helpful, unfortunately. Yeah, we're getting rid of the diamonds. Got some arcana packs, though. Hermit works. Let's do it. Second hermit. We also have a hanged man here. Hmm. I think I'll just go ahead and play some bonus, actually. And we'll take that hermit again. Let's see here. One in four chance for each played eight to create a tarot card. I don't have a lot of eights. My priestess, nice. Straight flush level is kind of crazy right now. Mime re-triggers all held in hand abilities. I don't think we benefit a ton from that right now. Does held in hand refer to like... I always get a little confused by that. Does that apply to the things like Lucky and Molt? Or is that like specific to the jokers that say like held in hand effects? That might be a little bit better than... Oh, like steel cards and gold cards. Okay. Yeah, that's probably not going to be great then. Ooh, temperance. Nice. Ah, crap. Okay. Okay. Upgrade pair by three levels. Anytime we can skip a blind might be worth it. We did just reset the ante. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, let's take the 0.5 multiplier on throwback. Hopefully it's good enough. Oh, boy. Okay. just play that? How high is my full house? 65 by 6. Hmm. How's the four of a kind looking right now? 60 by 7. It's not that much better. Yeah, Mime is one of the better cards in the game if you're actually built around it. Sadly, it's not really the case for us. Our popcorn's also losing value quickly, I just realized. I think I just go ahead and do that. Oh, true, yes. Yeah, supernova means we should really be prioritizing flush as well. You're not wrong. Tarot from the discard here. More lucky magicians. We have a fun... We can do a flush house here, maybe? We can. That's fun. Let's see what that's worth versus the standard flush. 140 by 14. We would lose like 15... 16 molt flat. I think actually the normal flush is better. I think. I'm pretty sure with Supernova, normally it wouldn't be. Yeah, I think it's slightly better. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh my god, Petroglyph too. Holy shit. Yeah, might as well do that. And very unfortunate to see that the Joker is a normal Joker, but that is going to be better than our Popcorn. So we'll take that here. More arcana packs. Emperor card is pretty sick. Ooh, we can death here too. Nice. Let's do that on the seven for the queen. That seems good. Oh god, I, I gotta make sure though. Convert the left into the right. Yeah, there we go. And then we emperor that. Love to see the lovers there. We can do the same thing with the star we've been doing before. Another emperor. Holy shit, nice. Okay, so we just do the stars on this. Let's make the let's make this ace a wild card. Do another emperor there. Another wild card. Okay, I think that's good for this round. Holy shit! Yeah, do it. 
awesome. Oh, shit, we can get a fool. But I want to use these for sure, right? What if I... No, I think if I sell these and get the fool, it's actually better, because that's going to be four total versus using three total if I do that and then just do one of these, which isn't going to be good anyway. Oh, we get to pick two of these, too. Holy shit, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's right. We sell these guys, use the fool, get the emperor, use that. And then save these guys, I guess, for now. And we get a couple of bonus cards. Which I guess we'll just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do this too. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to handle this. Thank God this is not debuffing uh, hearts. That would have been pretty shitty. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and strength you two. Maybe get to the flush house again and be able to actually uh, start finding upgrades for that. Go ahead and chariot you. That ought to be pretty nice. Someone just crashed into a parked car underneath my window. Jesus Christ. That sucks. Uh, I don't have the flush here, so just go ahead and play that, I guess. Weirdly high scoring for a single card. Holy shit. I'm assuming not yours, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you would have phrased that differently. Free temperance to start off with. Goddamn, nice. And juggler's probably not getting used here. Yeah. Get a celestial pack. Jupiter again. Good stuff. Yeah, I've heard, uh, well, actually, I not only, not only heard, but I've, I've witnessed a couple of crashes, unfortunately. They are not fun sounds. I, I know exactly what you mean. We were at an intersection when I was in high school, and we were starting to walk across the crosswalk, and big fucking accident just happens, like, right in the middle of the intersection all of a sudden. And, yeah, that is horrifying sounds. Not the kind of thing you're used to hearing. I think it's a little late for reroll surplus. I'm pretty sure I don't necessarily need to invest in that. Ramen. Maybe? We have a lot of flat molts already. I feel like I could sell Hollow Joker for ramen for now, and hopefully that'll work out okay. But then again, eh, we are discarding a lot. Maybe not. Right now I feel kind of stupid. I'm going to have to find a different Joker real quick, hopefully. Yeah, that's good enough, I guess. Basically the same thing. Cool. All right, here we go. So, uh, Annie Seven again. Holy cow, what a starting hand. Shit. Um, just play this, I guess? I'll have to use the hangman right away. Cool. Yeah, that does it. Moving on. Eight of hearts, I'll take it. Dumbo Arcana, I'll take it. Get rid of some more diamonds here. Although, eh, these are actually decent cards, aren't they? Yeah, let's... There you go. Let's swap this for another Red Seal Ace. That's pretty good. Better than the wild card, anyway. This is like the fourth anti-7. Yeah, pretty much. We've been here for a minute. Okay, cool. Must play five cards. That's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. Okay, get rid of these guys. Discard this boy. Probably go ahead and take a risk on that six, actually. Nah, I don't think I want to use this. Let's just do that. Send it. I still remember when I was a child and witnessed a truck falling over in a turn. That's, that's scary as shit, yeah. I'm not surprised. Especially as a kid, that must have seemed larger than life. We're kind of cruising now. This is feeling pretty good. The throwback all of a sudden in a pretty good spot, and we've got a lot of flat molt and chips value now. The more cards we add, the better, obviously. Speaking of which. Oh, yeah. Tarot weight? Yeah, I guess that's not bad. Take another celestial pack. Yeah, kind of a whiff again. Oh, well. We do have a decent chance at the straight flush now, so I don't mind that one bit. 
Apparently neither does the game. Works for me. Retrigger all played cards in final hand of round is pretty good. I think I'll take that over the abstract, actually. That's probably not a bad option. Might bail us out, in fact. We have a full house here if I want to just send that. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. I do have less hands to play, though. I should be a little more careful, I guess, but I think if we find a flush here, we should be just fine. It should be pretty easy to do. That ought to do it. Oh, not quite. Okay. Uh-oh. Oops. Hmm. Might still be enough. Two steel cards. I think we're okay. Whew. Okay. A little scary. A little scary. Arcana. Molt cards, lucky cards, glass cards. We'll take this. Take the free molt there. Diamonds, gold, wild, strength. Let's just do this. 54 molt on the tarot card. Goddamn. Hmm. Let's see here. What's the upcoming blind? One random joker disabled every hand. Smeared might help, but I think I want to keep everything I've got now. Supernova is actually making a significant enough difference, I think, with the plus 22. Yeah, let's just keep here. I don't think I want to re-roll the boss blind. Honestly, I think we're probably going to be better off just keeping this. Losing... The only thing that matters a ton is losing throwback. It might even disable dusk in rounds prior to the final hand, so that'd be pretty nice. I'm strongly debating taking the skip here for throwback. And then we might even be able to find something better than Supernova. Or maybe even better than Blue Joker, actually. I'm going to take a chance on that, yeah. See if I can find a straight flush here. There it is. Nice. Scoring pretty damn high. So we give up 22 flat molts on a flush in favor of a straight flush, which thankfully is the right play here, as far as I can tell. We nearly one shot that. Holy shit. Awesome. It is worth considering the more flushes we can play, the better, I guess. But we also might be getting rid of this in a second. You gotta be kidding. Oh my god. It's the second time this has been the reward joker. That sucks. Uh, let's try this. Mmm, Lusty's pretty good. But it is gonna be worse than the supernova on any flush, so that's not the way to go. Ah, crap. All right, well. I believe this is our last opportunity to use money. Might as well see what we can get. Yeah, that's kind of a whiff, too. Oh, shit, it's Cavendish. Let's go. Yeah, way better. All right, huge reroll there. Get the Justice card. Ooh, Sun as well. Probably a little better. Might not be, actually. Yeah, I think the Hierophant and the Justice might be better. I'll keep that three of hearts. Go ahead and use that Saturn. Snag that. Cool. Works for me. All right, man, here we go. See if we can keep the streak going. Good Bellatro run here. Disabled Blue Joker. That's not too bad. There's our Hierophant right away. There's a whole bunch of value here. Awesome. Send it. God damn, dude. Ah, Cavendish disabled them. 
If we could just disable Dusk once, we'd be in pretty damn good shape. Keep the steel there. There's a tarot discard. Two of them, actually. Shit. And it's just going to work on this guy. There's a high priestess. Get these guys in there. I think we're good to go. we're going to be a-okay here. All right, we have Dusk for this last one. We do have a flush. Lost the blue Joker, but we got both our multipliers. Cross your fingers. Keep them crossed. A little bear luck, a little bear luck, a little bear luck. There it is! GG! Streak extended. Respin earned. Let's go, dude. Big win. No endless mode. No thank you. That'll do it. Back to the wheel. And some bear rolls, please, in chat. What's next on the roguelike roulette? Keep the streak going, baby. Dicey dungeons. Ooh. Oh, nope. Tiny rogues. That'll work. That'll work. That's a, that's a good chance of keeping the streak alive for sure, man. Anytime Tiny Rogues pops up, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's do it. Right there, right there. Off we go. And who's it gonna be? We'll spin our wheel within our wheel here and find out. Esper. You choose a psychic ability trait at level one. Deflect all enemy projectiles around you for a short duration with a telekinetic barrier. Nice. Heard this game just got a huge update, been meaning to try it out. Much like any of the games in the roguelike roulette, I very happily and strongly recommend Tiny Rogues. This is one of my absolute favorite roguelikes to come out in a while. It's very easy to pick up and play. Yeah, this one's a good time for sure. Listen to these bangers. It's just so pleasant. This, of course, uh, being a character that starts out with a gigantic bear companion. Pretty partial to them, obviously. Oh, mimic early on, okay. Off you go then. Bunch of free goodies. Take another key here. Quick work of the early zone. Another intelligence, absolutely. Yeah, the Esper actually feels like one of the stronger starting characters for sure. Not only do you have the bear character to start out with, but you also get a significant amount of damage off your weapon. And some bombs early on. Yeah, let's get some dice too, why not? Hell yeah, Doc. Uh, let's go for a pair of gloves. I think we're good on the companion here. Let's start with some suppress here. Nice. Go get him, bear friend. Oh, well, there goes the suppress, I guess. Get his ass. Yeah. I kind of just want to let bear do it. Well, not me, but like that bear. Yeah, I'll let bear. I'll let bear take care of this. There you go, buddy. Well done. Well done. All right, let's see if we can find a set this time around. I feel like I keep going for sets and not being able to finish them off. Mask and he shall receive. A shaman mask adds our nature damage. Also, nature damage inflicts vulnerability. Sadly, not super great for us right now. Plus 10% attack speed, kind of boring, but not bad. Grants bombs on boss defeated and a 30% chance for food rewards to upgrade. Huh. I just want to wear this. That just looks looks cute on the Esper. No statistical priority there, just cute hat. I pick cute hat. Four to five cursed bombs? No, I think we keep going for intelligence here. It's all about the drip, dude. I'm a chef spur now? Ooh, plus two, strong plus two. 
three kitchen knife orbitals that deal tons of damage. It's like you knew I was going for a chef theme. I'm not even going to look at other stuff. Balloon hammer. Laser gun. Razor wand. Oh, shit. That seems fitting. Get some bleed off that. Sounds good. Let's do it. Now, I wonder if I'm better off unarmed as the uh, Esper as well. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Ooh, that is... Oh, there's a little homing on these as well? Oh, shit. Yeah, never mind. This is clearly the way to go. Buy mining gear for gold. I'm very curious about that, but we don't have a lot of money. I feel like that would be a wasted investment right now. There's also a secret room. Oh, my God. I, I, I did it, guys. I found a secret room all by myself. Yay, good job, Bo! We, we knew, we believed you could finally do it at some point. We knew eventually you'd learn to start paying attention. Way to go, buddy. And, uh, let's just go ahead and bomb that, yeah. Ow, oh, that's certainly the worst thing we could have seen. Oh, well. I went for a lot of wooden chests early on here. I don't know if it's necessarily the best idea, but hey, we're getting some goodies out of it. Permanently grant one maximum tipsiness. Yes, please. Let's get all all kinds of tipsy. Oh, that's what that means. The food, aka the rewards in the rooms. Okay, so Chef's Hat actually might be pretty good then. Okay, okay. And I think either one of these is good. Let's try the accessory here. I'm feeling like we're gonna take this dude down pretty goddamn quick. Yeah, our build is actually already pretty outrageous. Easy money. What you got? Yeah, a couple of good options out of the gate here. If you haven't taken damage in this room, plus 45 power. Holy shit. Oh, plus one revive there too, but no, goddamn, that is nuts. All right, we're looking to play to perfection now. And let's do, if we want alignment, so we're going for extra lives, I suppose it's more priority to go for the good shop, so let's do that, but uh, yeah, fine. Plus 10% magic damage, additional stamina recovery speed, on boss defeat to recover one heart. Let's do those two. Would get all three if I could afford it. There's a little alignment now. A lot of food for the rest of the run to upgrade. Yeah, no kidding. That was pretty early on to get something like that. I'm pretty pleased. We're off to a real good start here. Okay, uncommon weapons. I don't necessarily need to upgrade the razor one just yet. I think we'll keep going for the gold here. Just the way that this thing aims feels like it's going to be a uh, pretty... Pretty reliable room clearer early on here. I want to turn the tunes up a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy these bangers, man. Just a little louder. Just a little louder there in the music. Shop time? No, I think we can use some more bombs, actually. Oh, my God. It's fortunate there's not a chance, I guess, for the carrots to grow in size as well. Although I shouldn't rule that out, I guess. I don't know for sure. I would really appreciate that synergy if it were a thing. Uh, upgrade weapons. I could certainly go for that. I've only got a little bit of money, though. I couldn't really afford to get it up to max rank. I also am not sure if I actually want to invest that much in this thing. Let's get a potion. Another secret room. Nice. Well, not so secret, I suppose, but bonus room anyway. Power potion's always good. Let's see what this is. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Pawn shop, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the falchion here right away. Nine gold for that, I'll take it. Oh, this is evil alignment as well, though. I, I forgot about that. You can have both good and evil alignment, though, can't you? I could get both of them up to rank four, and I suppose that would work out just as well. Contraband. What did you loot? Let's find out. Let's find out what I looted. That's gonna be... A fairy dress. 
plus five dex. Each point of dex additionally grants ailment effect. On the set, anyway. Eh, not great. I'm just going to sell that, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use that thing. Just lost ten gold, unfortunately. That's all right, though. Disintegration Scepter, Flame Orang. Flame Orang! Uh, do I want a cigarette? Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, I guess if I'm going for the alignment, yeah, I might as well. It's a decent trade while I've got a flask. Let's do this, and we'll go ahead and drink up. There we go, okay. Ooh, yeah. Cake, please. Thank you very much. I feel like the kitchen knife orbitals have not been as big of a factor as I anticipated, but it's possible to build shifts enough for that to happen. Ooh, permanent potion buffs. Pretty damn good. Additional companion capacity with lowered stats from them. We'll take the mage blood here. <clears throat> Instant value from that pickup earlier. Fish and chips, yum yum. Thank you very much. Another set item? I did say I wanted to go for those earlier, but I'm pretty sure we can... Eh, you know what, let's take a chance. See what happens. Okay, so anytime I hit them with a knife, it is ridiculous damage, which is pretty nice, at least. Even if we're not hitting very frequently with it. Jesus Christ, I think our build is already completely out of control. It's a good feeling. Little booties. Plus 10% movement speed. The set grants you tailwind, which I don't actually know what that means. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I might go for that. Your attacks gain a chance to trigger an explosive arrow on hit that deals massive explosion damage. More damage at close range. More skill damage per soul you have. This is nuts. Oh, but it's... Oh, crap. Hmm. Oh, wait. Can I not use offhand at all? With this character? Is that a thing? I just didn't pay attention to? Telekinetic barrier. Can't attack with the skills active. How do you even use the telekinetic barrier? Huh. Oh, well. I guess we're selling that thing. That's a bummer. I'm not really sure why you can't use an offhand with her, though. Oh, I guess I can unpin this message now, can't I? I just realized. I don't need that no more. Only works with bows and crossbows? Is that what it is? Yeah, you might be right about that. More bangers, baby! Alright, clearly... The damage is still sufficient, which is nice. I suppose it doesn't really hurt me too much if I'm getting all these plus threes. I know these aren't my primary stats, but probably not a bad idea to grab it anyway. Nice. Rare weapons? Eh. God damn it, Jaredon. We were using one of these, and then a couple of these primary ones. Alright, I just sell that, I guess. That's pretty nice, isn't it? It sure is. Thanks, pal. Yeah, I keep doing it. If the argument works once, it works for every instance, right? That's what I'm telling myself. Gimme, gimme. Purse. Oh shit. Right? I think that's what that sound means. Miscellaneous. No, not cursed. Okay. Crystal items from the shop. Ooh. Okay, we got 65 gold now. I think I can go for that. Crystal armor. Crystal greaves. Crystal bracelet. Your crystal damage inflicts vulnerability. Huh. 
trigger a crystal nova on dash. I do not have boots equipped. We get armor from this guy as well. This seems like a pretty solid investment right here, dude. Hell yeah. All right, another orbital too. A mimic, bye-bye. Holy shit, an assassin gloves to increase our crit hit chance. Let's go. And I guess we'll get a new helmet. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily replace what I got, but we'll see. Oh, man. It always feels incredible when you can just dash into an enemy and just instantly half the HP bar goes away. This is an incredible start already here for sure. Big rat goes down. Space, man! When your orbitals complete a full rotation, trigger your on dash effects. Oh! Oh, that's huge! Two beetle companions, plus two to two handed weapon upgrade level, sticky orbital. This is amazing. This combined with the crystal boots is fucking crazy. Okay, cool. Wow. That rules. All right. Let's go back to the goal or the uh, the good shop. More damage against fiends, plus five percent move speed. Additional close range threshold and lowered far range threshold. That might work. Yeah, let's try that out. See what happens. All right, that is our good alignment completed. Hell yeah! I love it's still doing that. And fish and chips, nice. Okay. I'll be dashing more frequently now so we can get those launched as much as possible. Jesus Christ, this is a fun build already. Leveling up too, hell yeah. Infusion buffs are permanent, Jesus Christ. Bleed inflicts vulnerability is pretty good too, actually. But I'm just too tempted to take these. All right, we're going for all infusions and all potions. Those are critical to our success now. Anytime we can find those. Holy shit, dude. Golden chest. Uh, we can bomb that, probably. Soul heart, hell yeah, nice. There's an infusion. Yeah, that is most... Or, uh, highest priority by far. Any infusions and any potions. Take a rest? Sure. I don't think it's gonna do much for me, but I'll enjoy it all the same. Oh, that's a stat buff of some kind? Plus 25% stamina recovery speed. Permanent effect! Oh, shit, let's go! Awesome. Okay, I suppose I am actually looking for a set here as well with the Assassin's Gloves, although that would be the hood, which would replace my space helmet, which I don't think I'm super interested in. So instead, we get that stuff. And... Uh, I'm gonna try the offhand. I'm still wondering if that was actually just, like, specific to that one item we had, or if it's actually all of the offhands that have that effect. Oh, damn, it got so hard off me. That's a shame. Sweet. I was so hopeful that the space helmet would trigger off of every orbital's loop, but I guess not. Plus one block, plus one heart, but that would over-encumber us severely. Uh, accessory adds treasure find per point of good you have. Oh, that's pretty nice. Although I do think the focus sash is actually helping us a lot. Um, kind of a whiff here. I'll grab this and hope it's worth something, I suppose. Okay, there we go. Kind of flying through this run, man. This feels pretty good. More intelligence. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the sash is actually having one of the biggest impacts on the build right now. I really gotta stop losing those soul hearts, man. Shit. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could still upgrade my weapon, couldn't I? It's a nice weapon, but there's probably better stuff out there. Unholy Bible Gatling Gun. That's a lot of fun. 
Ballista Construction Manual. Weird. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is going to be super good, but I'll take it just to sell later. Plus three intelligence, let's go. Have a great day, Bladen. Started off with the uh, DD1 Mata campaign this morning and knocking out a little roguelike roulette today. Feeling good. Chest full of potions, obviously pretty fantastic for us now. Gonna be permanent stamina recovery speed off that. I think we already got the power potion. We'll go ahead and pop it anyway, though. More money! Money, 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 money. Thank you. And gold chest, sure. Bomb this sucker. Very little concern moving forward here. Holy cow, that was all of the bombs. Okay, yeah, that's a good timing for that, too. I think I will go ahead and upgrade this now. I'll spend 60 gold and make this guy a little bit better. And yet another alchemy stash is pretty fantastic. Love to see it. There's our last key. Probably going to be worth it. Yeah, crit hit chance. Random pot effect. Probably already one we already got, but that's okay. Mana regen as well. Good to go. Another set item, I guess. I feel like I'm speed running, dude. You're absolutely flying through this right now. 17 minutes into 4 7. That is insane. Thank you. This is the gloves we already have, isn't it? Oh, they're slightly different. Okay. Assassin's gloves, I think, are even just the upgraded version of that. Uh, let's see. Attack speed per stamina and one evade. Yeah. Let's see that too, I think. Would definitely love to see a pawn shop. That'd be a big help. Oh, another infusion. Beautiful. Stronger and stronger still. Hell yeah. Uh, cake is pretty good. Pawn shop. Very good. Uh, yeah, might as well get a treasure rock here. Go a truckload of bombs after all. What do you got? Uh, Captain Boots. Modifiers to your movement speed also apply to companion damage at a triple value. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. We can absolutely afford that trade here. There we go. Power increases companion damage. Every three seconds, trigger a grenade throw. This would be pretty solid with our Sash. It's going to make Bear pretty damn strong. And there's our pawn shop right on cue. Thank you very much. Go ahead and get rid of the emblem of the Hummet. Let's get rid of the Frostbite staff. Give him the patient gown. The fish and chips coming up here too. Nice. Love the chef's hat, but not enough. Man, we're making a killing here, dude. Beautiful. Yeah, fish and chips for sure. Never really been paying a ton of attention to your companions. Yeah, I'm hoping that's going to change here, though. More keys, more bombs. Thank you. Ooh, another infusion. Let's take it. You never know. I believe we have not used that one yet, but even if we have... Worth it to chance it. Yeah, the infusions and potions have also made a massive difference already here. Bye bye, Phoenix. Fun fight. Joke for you, Bear. Why did the ice cream truck break down? Because of the rocky road. I knew that one. No, I haven't figured out the psychic ability. I haven't really tried, to be honest. Oh, Elise would love this one. More damage per elemental damage type you have dealt in the last four seconds. That's fun, but certainly not going to work very well. Double orbital damage is pretty fun, but that would lose the crystal orbital, unfortunately. Hmm. 
with the set here, we could get double orbital range, which is pretty cool too. That would lose the power as well. Ooh, plus five intelligence from the detective coat. That sneaky hit chance with the full set. Maybe we'll use that. Another good shop that I don't necessarily need. We have two keys. I don't know if it's worth it to go to the evil shop either. I'll go check this to see what it has. Plus three decks. Ooh, plus three intelligence. Nice, we'll take that. Over the magic damage, I think. Yeah, though we are actually dealing magic damage, aren't we? I don't think we care about that one. There we go. Arinwa! Welcome back. A few bear hugs, please, for him. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate the Bezos bucks. Welcome back to the pile. And thank you for watching me play Darkest Dungeon. I appreciate that. Glad you learned something. We can all learn together. Now the bangers are cooking. Now they're letting us hear it. Pawn shop again. Don't really need that. We'll see what the mage stash has. Maybe even get a potion out of a cracked chest here. Soul heart. That's certainly good. Enemies are living for longer than three seconds, which is concerning. Two trait tomes. Yeah, let's try that out. Yeah, nothing's instantly melting anymore. Replace a trait with Prodigy. You have 50% lucky hit chance, but other modifiers to lucky hit chance have 0.5 effect. Slashing damage from you and your companions inflicts bleed. I don't think I'm going to use either of those, unfortunately. I am actually pretty sure that at this point we shouldn't prioritize infusions and potions as much because we found quite a few of them already. I don't think there's a lot left for us to get from that. Your ice, or your attack and skill have a chance to trigger an ice volley on hit. Grants a burn aura that deals fire damage four times per second. Hmm, that's pretty good. Either of these seems nice. I think I will do the conjuration. It just sounds like more fun. More chances for... Enormous burst damage are always a good time. Legendary item, let's go. Oh yeah. The pair is back. Yeah, let's kill the small guy first this time, just for fun. Mix it up a little bit. Oh my god, not that it really mattered that much. Holy shit. Any kind of focused effort here all of a sudden they're just getting annihilated. Looks like a weapon to me. Ooh, legendary offhand. Holy fuck. Please tell me I can use this. I'm not even gonna look at anything else. It works! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Flat plus 30 power, fire orbital and lightning orb, or fire cold and lightning orbital. That's pretty good. I think we're going to be okay. I think this one's going to work out, y'all. Anybody wants to come near me, feel free. Come on up. It's a party. Yeah, the moment that I get even near anyone. I kind of want to roll the dice on one more infusion. Let's see what happens. A little bit better than a treasure rock, I think. Maple pine? I don't know if I've gotten that one yet, actually. Yeah, nice. Got a new one. Try a magic weapon chest. We'll probably just crack it open with a bomb here. Pop. As Magnitude would say. Bear is now his own solar system. It feels like that. Alright, another event. Sure. Let's see what happens. What is this thing again? Oh, wasn't there like a... There's a list of things we can do. Which we figured out a few of already. Let's try Sun, Moon, Star and see what that does. Sun, Moon, 
star. Oh. Oh, hi. Examine the burnt tree. Oh, nice. Charcoal pine resin. Which we've already gotten, but it's a cool reward, I guess. And I don't think we can do any more. All right. That's neat. Oh, a heart container. Holy shit. Huge. Oh, yeah, and the blacksmith as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. Get the armor back, and then let's grab another key. Just get the orbitals in range. That's all we need, brother. I eh, don't need either of these. We'll go for the body armor, I guess. Probably a little more valuable. Want to try some orbitals? I hear they're real tasty. You know how you like them. You do? Oh, wonderful. What's that? They're your favorite? Fun new bedtime snack? Taste a little orbital tree? Knife shoes. On dash, trigger knives that deal massive thrusting damage and inflict bleed. Oh shit, I think that might be a little bit better than the crystal boots, not to mention that I'm no longer encumbered when I wear those. Nice. Just boots with knives on the end. Fun. Alright, and then let's check this evil shop, because I might just get this alignment too. Uh, plus 20 elemental damage, power per point of lawful you have, eh, not really worth it. Yeah, space helmet might be uh, worth tossing at this point, you're not wrong. Probably not adding too much anymore. Okay, here's where we might actually be a little concerned. These guys are tanky enough to be able to get the beams out for a while. A petrified armor is insane. Please and thank you. Give me that. Do not need to refill flasks here. Let's go for the obsidian equipment. Crack that open. I'll get a cursed blessing too. Yeah, that's probably fine. I gotta get these guys killed quick. Plus five intelligence. Absolutely. Another plus three. Here's our max level. More damage per mana container you have. Undealing elemental damage. Gain buffs, which would work pretty damn well with our orbit orbitals right now. Buff, fire, cold, and lightning damage. Oh, cool. It's like a rock, paper, scissors thing. Anytime you trigger lightning damage, the effect is triggered an additional time after a 0.5 second delay. I think elemental ba balance is probably good here, but I also feel like I could re-roll into something a little better. This is probably pretty good, but eh, no. Let's try something else. Holy fuck. Yep. Plus 80 power, please. Rude. Come on. All right, fine. Re-roll again. Burn deals double damage and damage in an area. On skill used, trigger a meteor rain that deals 5,000 damage. I don't know how to use the skill still, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do that. <laughs> After two attacks, your next attack triggers a razor leaf that deals nature damage. That's cool. One more try here, though. Hmm. Modifiers to your mana recovery also apply to your damage over time. Chill additionally grants 20% chance to take a critical hit. I have an 80% credit hit chance? What the hell? Ah, oh boy. Yeah, that ain't it. Ooh, your orbitals inflict vulnerability. There we go. Oh, it's just hold right click to use the skill? Okay, that's easy enough, I guess. Oh, this isn't even enchanted yet, is it? Holy shit. Please. Happy. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the storm in a bottle. Let me go ahead and have a beer. Thank you very much. 
And that's pretty good. Oh yeah, luck potion too. Please, thank you. Isn't Storm in a bottle a potion? Right? I'm pretty sure I can just take this now and it'll have the permanent effect along with the luck pot. And another soul heart. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, the orbitals are out of control now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, repair armor for the 10 souls too. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Might as well do that. Uh, don't need boots, so we'll go for the rare item then. Hi, Death. You want to see my orbitals? You like them? You like my orbitals, Death? They're pretty cool, huh? Okay, bye. Bye, Death. See ya, buddy. Defeat death while having at least four different infusion buffs active. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, apparently storm in a bottle is not permanent either. That's a bummer. Not a big deal, though. Double trigger damage. That'd be pretty crazy for the knife shoes. Huh. Modifiers here. Move speed also apply chill effect. I'll take that. You know, let's try it. Let's. I, I bet that's pretty damn good. Okay. <clears throat> so, just as another reminder to myself, if I have the good alignment, <clears throat> which I currently do, I want to go in this door, right? Seems right. I just want to make sure in case anyone knows with a certainty. I don't think I need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah, we're looking good. We're going to take a chance with it. I'm pretty sure this is right, though. Enter the gate to the high heavens. I'm a very good boy. And certainly they're going to reward me for that, right? Here's hoping. I've been such a good bear. Please treat me right. Okay. And things get a little more exciting here in the high heavens. Additional tick speed, plus one magic find, plus one to a weapon upgrade level. I bet that brings it to four. It sure does. Cool. We get the ultimate bangers in this stage as well. Okay, let's see here. Plus one to highest attribute, quite nice. I just gotta get the orbitals to touch them, basically, and we're good to go here. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. No need to be uh, poison damage, but we'll take it anyway. Might as well get some more lucky hit. I like the look of those rainbow beams. There he goes. Ah, uh, to attack speed, I think, at this point again. I'm pretty sure we've gotten just about every infusion already. Not much more to be gained from that. That dragon is awesome. I really like this area. I don't think I need the health flask. That was fast. Holy shit. Okay. Keep it going. Team at time. Or sorry, Bahamut. Should be a little, little bit harder. A tiny bit harder. Maybe. Maybe not at all. Might be just as easy if, if, if everything else up at this point. Also a possibility. This one's a mind melt of an attack. There we go. Time for the orbitals! Wee! Bye bye. Alright, one more floor, baby. On our way to an extra life. 
More cold damage against burning enemies. That ain't it. Ooh, double orbital speed. That's kind of fun. I ain't giving up the focus sash, though. Plus 20% damage per potion buff you have. Oh, shit. That's, uh... That's actually pretty tempting. Hmm. I'm going to try that for a bit. I don't think we're going to lose too much not having the crystal orbital be a part of all that. Come on, tell me I'm good. I'm such a good boy! Yay! He's a good boy bear. In you go. One last floor. More attack speed. Alright, does the double damage end up being worth it? Soon to find out, and I'm pretty sure already that it is a uh, pretty significant difference maker. Because that should be not just the damage that I deal with my weapon, but just damage in general, I, I assume. Giant cheese boy goes down. An Inferno potion we might not have actually already used. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's the Inferno Orbital, right, of course. Because we don't have enough Orbitals yet. Sweet. Okay. Uh, more damage with non-crits. Yep. I'll take that. That's an insane buff, actually. Just flat plus 10% damage is crazy. I guess the load capacity actually might still help, too, because it makes it so we're able to move more quickly, I think. Well, that was fast. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and gain favor with stamina here. It's a pretty nice upgrade. Let's do it again, in fact. Awesome. All right. Feeling pretty good. Time to face Eden's Celestial Queen. All right, there goes Eden, Celestial Queen. Into a rainbow phase. Owie. Okay, we do have a lot less damage now as a result of losing the Sash power. Not that it really matters. Bye-bye. Woo! We did it. Hooray. What a banger. Twisted Axis! Thank you for the bear bucks, the Bezos bucks, Twitch Prime, welcome back to the pile. Bear hugs, please. You've accomplished the impossible, you alien headed freak, with your orbital nonsense. Third rock from the pun. Big dub. Streak extended. Extra life acquired. Let's go. He's done it. And we're back to the wheel. Back to some more bear rolls in the chat, please, as we find out what's next in the roguelike roulette. Spin to win, baby. One last game today. Let's see if we can bring this streak up to five. I feel pretty good. Oh, God. Well, that was a fun streak while it lasted, huh? <laughs> that was going well. I got respins, but I feel like taking the chance on this today. This feels like a good way to wrap up. I still, like, I firmly, I know this is just stupid at this point. It's just ridiculous for me to have this opinion about myself, especially given our history with this game so far. But I genuinely believe that I could win any of these nuclear throne runs. I think I have it in me. I just gotta focus. Don't be so defeatist, exactly. Yeah, we can win. We've gotten pretty damn close. We've been getting to the throne every now and then. We just gotta beat it. Let's give it a shot. Maybe today's the day. 
Today's the day some magic happens. If I could kill the rat, that would make me feel a little better about it, but... Ooh, grenade launcher start. Nice. Got some more explosives, too. There we go. Easy peasy. It'll happen eventually. Yeah, it'll be a big moment. We can make it work. And I'm all about those moments, man. I'm all about those content moments. Does he say pollution when you start? Maybe. I can't really make any words out of it, honestly. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, did I miss all that experience? Oh, no. That stinks. All right, here we go. Rhino skin start. Not bad. I like Rabbit Paw a lot, but Rhino Skin's probably the safer play. I should probably go ahead and grenade launch a little here, too. Oh boy, this is a... This is a messy situation already, unfortunately. I don't love this. There's so many big worms in here, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is bad. Jesus. Just keep coming after me, too. I gotta get these big guys down. The experience out of them. Holy shit! Okay. Finally, goddamn. Okay, there's all that sorted out. Should be able to take care of Big Dog pretty easy. There he goes. Get some more bullets. Somehow at full HP still, which is a miracle. Oh, God, I got a machine gun here, too. Let's grab that. Oh, pop rifle. Actually, a little better, isn't it? Actually, I think I'd rather have a machine gun here. Yeah, it feels a little better. Okay. We got the grenade launcher, so we can go to the secret level here, too, which is nice. Scarier face start, too. Okay, rhino skin scarier face, man. That's a strong fucking start, for sure. That feels pretty good. Another level up coming on. Dude. I just gotta hope that we actually get the sewer lid in here somewhere. Come on, you're gonna help me out here, right? Watch out for the poison. Oh, God. That was dumb. I'm not seeing it. I'm real disappointed if they. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was just hiding up there. It's not that I doubt Bear's ability, it's just I simply don't underestimate, or I simply understand the ruthlessness of the throne. I agree, yeah, no, it's, uh... I feel the same way. Ah, I missed a little more experience there, that's okay. Let's see. Better accuracy, yeah, that's pretty good with the machine gun. Right? Alright, so it's always fun to come in here. Get to hear the little TMNT banger. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, terrific. That's the zone three. Here we go. It already feels quite a bit better with the machine gun, actually. Ninja down, nice, okay. I'm start I'm I'm feeling it a lot more with this game now, too. Like I'm back in the rhythm with this. Where I wasn't really feeling so much like that before. Which is, of course, exactly what I say prior to dying horribly, but at least I sound confident right now, right? It's worth something. There's definitely a rhythm to this game, though. Oh, this is the special car, isn't it? This is what you're supposed to hit with a screwdriver, I think, to get to a secret level. Double flame shotgun. Holy shit. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Oh god. Okay, that was close. I think we have another level up here too. Boiling veins is pretty nice. No damage from explosions under 4 HP. Let's try that. It's good safety play. So far so good. I'd like to get 
back to Max. Feels like letting me. Should be able to avoid cracking this thing. Yeah, machine gun actually gets pretty damn good in this condition. Ooh, a laser pistol. I think I prefer that too. There's a chance we can get the uh, laser damage upgrade. Yeah, I miss sleep cycles too, man. He had a good run. I'm assuming he's moved on to greener pastures now. He's not dead. <laughs> I want to make that euphemism be misheard. Okay, we got Big Dog right over there. I think we're going to be okay. A little bit of experience I missed out on. We're going to go ahead and redirect those bad boys. Looks like the laser pistol ought to handle this. I could just go ahead and finish him off here, though. There we go. Beautiful. More energy. I don't know what the weapon was. I guess we'll find out in a second. Let's see. I'm going to patience and hopefully find laser brain here, because I feel like that'd be a huge upgrade if we can get it. Another disc gun. Yeah, that's not going to work. I know these guys are going to be a little tankier, especially with the machine gun. It's going to be my primary weapon right now. So I'm going to be a little more careful moving forward here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Wow, that was close. Okay, good. This area is terrifying with this kind of weaponry. I'm starting to shake a little bit. I'm getting nervous. Go, good, good. Heavy revolver is probably not a terrible idea, but I think I'm gonna stick for now. Okay. A little low on energy. I'm gonna swap back a little bit. Holy shit, yeah, the machine gun is really not handling this as well as I wanted it to. These guys are very tanky. All right, come on, laser brain. Damn. All right. Uh, I guess I'll take lucky shot here. It's not terrible. And then still no laser brain. Damn it. I'll take sp strong spirit then, I guess. Another fail safe. All right. Here's where we need to get a little more concerned than before, even. Oh, my God. Yep. That good. Yeah, these guys are gonna take a walloping from this weapon. I think the energy weapons might be more effective on these guys, but I might also just be making that up. Holy shit, god, every moment of enemy movement is just sheer panic. That was insane. Okay. This is a terrifying choke point right here. I don't like this one bit. Wish I had a fucking grenade or something. That'd be nice. I guess this is effectively a grenade, right? I'm losing so much stuff over there, dude. Jesus Christ. There we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right. Good, good, good. Flare gun. Crack this guy. Get the goodies. Weirdly effective so far. We've got a lightning pistol as well. Interesting. Now you gotta imagine lightning pistol is gonna be more effective on them, right? Yeah, it actually seems like it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Keep it together, buddy. Keep it together. What is this? Lightning pistol kind of going crazy here. Oh shit. Super slugger. Oh baby. There we go, dude. Now we're talking. I think this thing uses like, oh, it's five shots per. 
first shot there, yeah, or five bullets per shot. That's kind of rough. This is going pretty good, though. Energy sword. Oh, cool. That'd be a full energy build, though. It's probably not a wise choice. Oh, my God, that was close. Do not want to trigger that. Move him away for a bit. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I wasn't really sure what that did. Please don't blow this up. Thank you. You can still use laser brain here. Rabbit paw. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. All right. Come on now. Keep it up. Man, one shot from those guys with the laser brand. Okay. Lightning pistol is awesome. Super slugger time here for sure. I just killed little Hunter with a single shot. Holy shit, that feels amazing. Little Hunter down is a massive milestone here. We're actually kind of cooking right now. Which again is exactly when you die you're not continuing to be careful that's not a gap holy shit damn it damn it damn it damn it stop it Ugh. keep thinking it's gonna kill him quicker than it does heavy machine gun I don't think so oh did I use it no I still have it that's right okay what the little halo means, I think. Oh, good, good, good. Holy shit. Whew. Okay, we're, we're, we're making our way. This is a great weapon to have here, too. It might be better to use Super Slugger against that guy, I guess. There's the spawner. That was it? What the fuck? Okay. Lost the ammo. That's fine with me, though. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Super slugger. Wow, man. Okay. Good. Holy cow. You keep using this, I guess. Shit. Oh my goodness, dude. That's all I can think. That's all my brain is outputting is holy shit, holy shit. Which is classic nuclear throne, I suppose. Dragon? That sounds cool. What does this do? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Reasonable. Okay. There he goes. More energy. Oh, more shells. That's fine, I guess. Another one down. That is too many cops. That's too many cops, you guys. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this, man? Oh, how? How am I alive? That was fucking insanity. Okay. Okay, wow. I need energy. Yes. Holy fuck. Higher ammo max is good. I need that. Super splinter gun, maybe. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think this is a little better now. I'm wondering if this is going to be the combo, actually. These two. Let's try it. I'll always pick up that gun later, I guess. All right, we're here, man. 
this is where my confidence is coming from. Let's do it. I need that bear luck. You better believe it. I just wait, right? I always feel like I have to do something to trigger him. Do I have to shoot him? There we go. Okay. Here he comes. It's time. So just keep firing this goddamn splinter gun. Over and over. That's nice. Oh, that hit a lot though, man. This super slugger is probably going to be dealing more damage. I did it! I did it! It happened! Oh my god! I beat Nuclear Throne! You can do that? You can win? Holy shit. Character unlocked. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Believers feasting. Let's go. That's a streak extended. No way. Can't remember the last time I heard this damn song. What a way to wrap up the day. Streak of five. Nuclear throne conquered. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Thanks for making nuclear throne. Good stuff. Uh huh. That's me. It's like an after credits thing. Ah, here we go. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, that'll do it for Roguelike Roulette today, y'all. Thanks for watching if you're watching over on YouTube.com slash Barrett's Happy. How about a like on the video for our first W in Nuclear Throne throughout the Roguelike Roulette? Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. I'll see you in the next one.